Hey, Sam from Guitar Village here, and in the last week or so we've had three killer new tellies into stock. They're all pre-owned and we thought we love our second hand gear and we love our tellies, let's do a little video on them. Before we get into each guitar, let's talk a little bit about what happens to a guitar when we take it in as pre-owned. After the guitar is taken in here at the shop, we like to do a really thorough setup and inspection on it. After that, it goes through to the in-house photographer who gets some great pictures of it. They even include some pictures of the guitar on the weighing scale so you can see how much it weighs and a picture of the guitar in the case. After that, the admin team will then look up all the specifications for the guitar, check anything to make sure it's completely original, and if not, they'll list it on the website as well. After that, it goes out on the sales floor, ready for you to come in and try out. So the first of the three tellies we're going to check out is this one I've been holding, this gorgeous Dakota Red 1960s style Telecaster from the Fender Custom Shop. This is probably the most vintage of the three that I'm going to show you and what it has got that kind of gives it a little bit more of a modern feel and flavour, it's got modern telly wiring in this, you haven't got that kind of muddy neck pickup sound and it's got a flatter radius too, which is nine and a half. What I also really love about this is the capped headstock, it looks absolutely killer. <laughs> The three tellies we're checking out, this is by far the most modern one. It's really cool because this is a telly that's definitely going to appeal to a lot of the strap players as well. The guys who have picked up tellies before and seen that, you know, felt that slab body and it's been a bit uncomfortable compared to the strap. This one has that really nice arm contour on the front there. On the back we've got that nice belly cut and it's also got a heel contour as well so you can reach the upper frets really, really easily. While we've got the guitar flipped over here, let's have a look at some of the woods. So the body wood is an ash body, it's a premium hand select. You've got a super flamey maple neck. And on the top you've got even more flame there as well, on top of the sunburst finish. To make it even more modern, we've got 22 frets, it's got a 9.5 inch radius. We've got Spurzel tuners on there with the nice pearl buttons. And you've got the RSD Bridge 2, which is a really, really nice comfortable feature. The last of the three tellies we're checking out is this 52 telly. Now, you've probably looked at this straight away and gone, 52 telly with a rosewood fretboard? Well, it definitely is a 52 telly. But what's interesting as well with this is that it doesn't have a super chunky neck. I mean, it's bigger than the other two we were just checking out, but it's a large C, so it's still very comfortable and very rounded as well. Aside from that, you've got this really, really cool um, uh, gold anodized pick guard on there. It's got some great pickups. You've got a, a twisted telly in the neck position and then a 51 no caster in the bridge position. It's also got an ash body and you can see it's had the heavy relic treatment so this thing is properly worn through. This guitar is probably, I would say, a great middle ground between something vintage and modern for the player that kind of wants some of those vintage sounds but wants something a little bit different to the standard Blackguard Blonde. <laughs> Okay, so there's three new pre-owned Fender Custom Shop tellies we've had in. And out of the three of them, I, I kind of loved all of them for different reasons. As I mentioned, this is the most vintage style one. I think the, uh, the 52 I was just playing is just a really interesting, different spec. And then the most modern one being the Custom Deluxe from 2013. I must be honest though, out of the three, this is the one that I like the most. I really love the capped headstock and it just looks absolutely great on this guitar. Makes me think as well, 
Why would you want to buy a second hand guitar when there's so many new ones available? And there's a couple of reasons, I think. One, obviously they're going to be a little bit cheaper. And two, something that, that is really important, if you want a guitar that might not be available now, you know, one with a different spec, like that Custom Deluxe, you could probably maybe order one if you did a custom quote, but you're going to have to wait ages for it. Whereas, you know, if you want to go in, pick a guitar up off the shelf that's completely different, it's a really, really good way of doing that. Really enjoyed making this video, and I hope you enjoyed watching it. We're bringing out new videos every Friday at 4pm, so make sure you hit the subscribe button now to stay up to date with our latest content.